Looking there, you see it. Apparently, Lord Stephen Regal has made a proposal to beautiful Bobby to be uh, tag team partners. Well, I'll tell you something. If Bobby accepts, I'd be, if I was high on heat, I'd be watching. That would be a team to beat. That would be a team you'd have to worry about. Because beautiful Bobby's held that title so many times and knows what to do. He's the guy I'd want for a partner. Bunkhouse Buck in this next match here on WCW Worldwide from the Worldwide Arena here at Disney MGM. By the way, we will follow closely the progress of this potential team of Lord Stephen Regal and Beautiful Bobby in World Championship Wrestling. I'll tell you, Bunkhouse Buck's the guy who wanted my fight in the parking lot. Why's that? This man knows how to get it done. He is a fighter. Mike well, he Corey. doesn't care about cheating. No, Mike Corey is the opponent in... Uh, Buck is a level Corey. Look at this. He's in the cowboy boots. Hard shows on those cowboy boots. Well, they allow him to wear them. Not his fault. Stomping the man in the back of the head with it. What do you want to wear? Ballet slippers? No, but I think the wrestling boots would be nice. He's not comfortable in that. He has to feel at home. The man's just a homeboy. Buck? Yes. Well, you get lost. Corey and Buck with every illegal tactic. Don't talk to me like that. You talk to me in the, with the same respect you would give the commissioner, Nick Bockwinkel. You mean the honorable Nick Bockwinkel? Well, I have nothing but the utmost respect for him. Okay, we should got it right. But you're another case. Colonel Parker has so many ways to go. He has so many different kinds of athletes and wrestlers in his camp. Buck stomping on the head of Mike Corey like he's done so many times. The pride of Buck Stort. He is the world. Or a member of the stud stable that has the world television champion in it. Jimmy Jeff with a warning to Buck and Buck. No regard at all for authority, for rules, for fair play. Your kind of guy. My kind of guy uses a little too much cologne, though. Buck does? It's that or he's got one of those pestrants that kills guys. Something on him. I don't know. Corey with the stock set flip, and he got a two out of it incredibly. And it works for him. And a drop kick. One, two. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it would keep the flies away. Those little things you'll learn living in Buck's North. Now, yeah, I bet you nobody there for that one as Buck held onto the near side ropes. Now the whip. Hey, a drop kick on a bunkhouse buck. Incredible how much wrestling technique and style he has learned in a short period of time. Courtesy of the Colonel. That's right, after coming... From Dude, this man was just a fighter. He, was just, he fights out back in the corral. He fights on the back 40, in the alley, in the street. He didn't care. That can is for Colonel Robert Parker. You know what up. that means, don't you? What? AFC. I can't forget the Colonel. They love him. That's not what that means? That's exactly what that means. Wait, did I just make stuff up? Yes, I do think that. Uh, Corey's not going to be able to make up much of anything because he's not going to even remember his name here. After getting stomped on the head. You just play it with different parts of his body. That, that's a nice thing to do. Just play with different parts of his body. Take an arm and pull it. Sit on his shoulder. Stomp on his head. You know how to have fun too, don't you? Just describing exactly what... You gotta watch your tears out here now. Yeah, well, that's know. how you make people respect you. Oh, that's how you make people in this sport at WCW understand. Power is what they understand. Well, so that's why Nick Bockwinkel had so much respect, because he was such a great competitor and a great champion. Well, Nick could wrestle. Nick could also rough it up. Nick could also talk into defeat. In the ranks. I knew people that gave up during instructions, just knowing Nick was going to be there. Ah. The foot to the face of Corey. And a right hand to the jaw. That's going to be it. One, two, three. No, Buck Horn. Buck Snorter. Whatever you call it. Buck Horn. Up. The Buck Horn Snorter. The Buck Horn Slapper. I can't understand all that stuff. They're 
tough people. I can't understand you either, as a matter of fact. Well, you know why? Why? I'm talking to Nick. Put the boots to him. Bunkhouse at his best. A drop kick. Wow. Right on the money. That's payday right there, right in the chop. Winds up. And drops the ham and egg. Hold the toast and the hash brown. He's not going anyplace. All right, Buck gets the win, and the stud stable looking as awesome as always here on WCW Worldwide. When we come back, fans, pretty wonderful. The Fantastics in our big main event, plus much more. But right now, let's go to this very special interview. Look at that smell. <laughs> 